patient. <laughs> Insert the speed draw clips. Anyway, let's dive in the point of the video. Today we are back on Bloxburg because I've got some weird obsession with Bloxburg at the moment. I don't know what it is. I'm in my Bloxburg era. And I saw someone make a house by using one by one boxes as parts of the house. And I was like, oh, I want to play that. Shout out to you, Insomnia, because I actually quite like watching you. Right, so we're going to make it a cottage theme because of the new update. I'm going to make this the entrance. And then this can be the kitchen and the hallway and the living room <laughs> oh god this could be so trash i'm gonna go ahead and say this is indeed the bathroom uh the office the bedroom uh the library what else do you have in houses i'm gonna be bougie i'm gonna make this a pool room okay you know we're gonna make this another hallway because you obviously need a hallway there's the house it looks absolutely terrible let's go ahead and pick a roof now because it's cottage theme i kind of want to use this roof now you don't need to applause okay yes i'm coming out of my comfort zone let's not talk about it let's bring it down a whole bunch okay i think that's trash um right and now we need to make a path i'm gonna use a bridge do you want to make it wooden or no it's gotta be stone there we go a little bridge and now we need to make a pathway we'll use a new fence it can be like this because it is indeed a cottage i actually always wanted to live in a cottage fun fact i really did um i've always loved cottages besides from a thatched roof uh for windows oh i'm not gonna be able to put it anywhere seriously oh that is so annoying two windows i think that's enough I think, yeah two windows it's gonna be quite dark we're gonna be vampires to be honest oh my god i forgot there's a whole new color wheel that actually really scared the heebie-jeebies out of me so we got this which is large leaves we've got grass that kind of looks like my armpit hair and i'm just gonna make it all the same this new color wheel i hate it yeah there we go that's so cute oh that's actually okay I, i'm i see how it's going here bring these down because i swear they're way too high now let's just go ahead color the outside and we'll be done with that i think it looks really ugly but it's because we haven't landscaped it so we'll landscape it afterwards but because we're going for a cottage vibes now i've realized i've literally got a color all inside yes it's this material this is how i'm having my little cute cottage house now i don't think it's all gonna be green but i'm most certainly gonna put at least the hallways and entrance green now is it cheating that i've got multiple hallways maybe but you guys aren't gonna say anything okay because you try bake actually here's a challenge for you after this video make a one by one house and send it to me on either insta or twitter right let's go ahead and add an archway now i've seen people do this with these shapes are you gonna like me new plan we're gonna go walls we're gonna make the biggest wall we can i'm not that skinny but okay i'm gonna make it i'd say that tall hopefully this works i am not a skinny person okay there we go i think that's quite cute how am i gonna get in here oh my god i literally <gasps> get in there okay there we go actually no that's the bathroom so it's just gonna be through this wall here oh, too shabby it's looking terrible so for the entryway i'm thinking for a light you know cottage five like oh it's so nasty and yucky in here i don't know what i'm gonna be able to fit in here the umbrella thing that's what i'm gonna get because i'm not gonna be able to fit anything in this room literally i'm on my umbrella yellow yellow where is it <laughs> Well, I couldn't find it, but I guess I can use this in here. There. Oh, I want to know where that umbrella thing is, though. I don't think they took it off. I think I'm just being blinded in a bat. Apparently, black bats have really good eyesight, or at least some of them do, so I don't understand the blinded in a bat concept. But I'm not the one who made it up. Oh, there it is! Okay, right. Fancy umbrella stand. I feel like you need that if you're in a cottage. I think that's quite cute, just for a, a cute little hallway now we're gonna go ahead and go to the living room i feel like this archway is literally gonna save my life in multiple ways it doesn't know right so the living oh how am i gonna like can i even fit a chair in here I fit a kid's bean bag in here so if i put a kid's bean bag to the side and then i get a table 
God, that is bigger than my aspiration. F no, why are you so big? I feel like I'm gonna have to go for the modern kids. Even that is. Where are all the little tiny thingies? I don't understand why they're all so big. I literally cannot wrap my brain around this moment right now. It's looking like it's not gonna happen, which really disappointing me. But I, oh wait, no, I can fit this cute little marble one in here. Oh God, I'm lost in this house. Dude. Here's a living room so far. Now I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to fit a TV. I think I'm gonna do a shelf moment. Yeah, a little corner shelf. Oh my God, that is way too high. We're gonna be looking up quite a lot. Is there any like TVs that are small? That is not a small. I think the smallest one is this one. Kind of clipping out everywhere. I think we're gonna have to get another shelf. I don't think this shelf's working very nice. For the living room, I just put like a little bean bag. I changed the shelf and put a plant in the TV there. And then just some books and a light. I feel like that's good enough for the living room. Practical? No. But I don't think anything's practical when you're living in this monstrosity. I'm gonna quickly try to figure out how to do the kitchen. And we're gonna see how it turns out. Okie dokie. So I did the kitchen and I did the outside. I'm not going to show you the kitchen until I officially do the room tour. I just put a plant here and a light for the hallway because i didn't know what else to really do with it to be honest this one hasn't got anything so i think i'm just gonna put a light there and call it a hallway so let's go ahead and do the office next i feel like that might be the easiest although considering i haven't got like any tables i'm not 100 sure what i'm gonna do though is i am gonna add a window i feel like maybe it'd be nice to have an office and look out into the window so now i need a cool computer i think i've got <laughs> do we give it this one it doesn't even fit oh my gosh this is how small this house is i guess i can get this 4000 laptop and we could get like a really cute little lamp i feel like you kind of need a lamp next to your computer although when your computer is on it's gonna generate a lot of light but when it's off maybe not so much i feel like because it's a cottage house i think we can give it this oil lamp and then i think i'm gonna snatch some books and put it here by the way the kitchen took me ages to do so i i want you guys to appreciate the actual struggle because this house is so small you have to make sure you get the right angle yeah okay i think that's good now for a chair i feel like we're gonna have to literally give it a poof maybe or maybe a kid's chair to be honest this one kind of screams cottage so i'm just gonna i'm gonna put tilt it to the sides a little and i think that's our office maybe we can add a shelf let me go ahead and get the shelf from the living room ah, i'm stuck you see this is the problem with little houses like this well not the tv but because it's so small it's really hard to get like anything so it's really frustrating like i've wanted to slam my keyboard once or twice oh my god i wanted to kill murder my computer once or twice okay let's just be calm we're carrots be as calm as a carrot i don't know why i'm whispering i think it's because i'm getting mad so i'm just gonna Okay, there we go. Th this bit's done. This bit doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Uh, we're just gonna leave that plane. Well, maybe we'll add a plant, actually. You know what? I love plants in houses. So I'm just gonna add one random plant standing there. <laughs> Am I even gonna be able to fit, like, a toilet? Oh, God, the toilets are, like... What am I doing? Oh, wow. What am I working with? Maybe if I, like, squish it to this corner here, and then maybe I can get that box sink this box sink right here well, i can't even like see i think i can put it next to it like here but then where am i gonna shower um <gasps> ah, i'm gonna shower oh gosh i'm literally gonna have so many bruises i think i'm gonna get this sleek shower set there you go or maybe i wait oh maybe i'm smart maybe it's like it connects to the sink like, look, I can just shower in the sink. Yeah, it's a terrible idea, you know what? But you know what? It's better than not having a toilet, at least. I'm gonna try and move it over a little, like so, so I can at least bring my toilet in a little bit. We're gonna move that here. I can't even, like, see what I'm coloring. I'm just gonna leave everything that one color. Okay, that's the bathroom done, actually. You know what? I need to be a bit of perfectionist. Let's get some toilet paper, and it can be above the bathroom, because there's, like, no way there's any room there. Okay, now we got the, the toilet done bedroom oh my goodness no bed is gonna fit in here like not even a children's bed that's not gonna
gonna fit in here. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Yes, that is my bedroom. I'm gonna have to build one. I don't know how, uh, but I'm I'm gonna build one. We're gonna get creative. We're gonna use some basic shapes, and we're gonna make a really cute little bed. So this is gonna be the base. We're gonna bring it out, and we're gonna make it really skinny. And then we're gonna duplicate it, but we're actually gonna make this a whole lot more skinny because it's gonna be like the match. I'm lost. Uh, what kind of pattern do we want? What's that pattern that all the yucky Bloxburg houses have? There it is. You can't... Oh, I can't even see it to an angle. Oh, okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We need some pillows. Pillow, pillow. Okay, let's go ahead and add this pillow here. Oh, my God. I literally cannot see. This is so... Cool. I'm just gonna get this bedside table. Here we go. There's your bedside table. This room is so depressing. I've already done the pool room. There's not a lot to it. Pool room. Oh god, where am I gonna eat though? You know what? We'll eat on the desk. We'll be one of those people that eat on the desk. Last but not least, laundry. I think that's quite easy. I'm just going to get this. Ba boom. I don't know why I've got a fascination with orange at the moment. And I am done. Welcome to my house. As we go in, we're ignoring that, but I get to walk on my little bridge full of trees. The landscape is horrible, but you know what? We're gonna go in, and this is the entryway. It's a picture of me and when I had friends, but they all left because I live in a trash house. I have an umbrella, a coat hanger, no the essentials. We walk in. Here's the uh, living room. We sit here when we're bored. And, you know, we actually watch some TV. Like, it's at quite a good height. I feel like I did quite a good job with the living room here, besides I'm not changing the pictures. And then here's our kitchen. Now, I think I got creative with the kitchen. So there's the microwave and some cupboard. And then we have a mini fridge here, but we also have, like, a grill. You know, one of those stoves, but I added a basic shape as well. So we can actually cook stuff here without the oven taking too much space. And then we waltz here. It's brighter than heaven. And we have our cute little office here. Our bathroom is an absolute state when we use the shower we get in the sink you know wash our face and that our toilet's there the shower's a massive mess okay but our bed this is our bedroom basically when you open the door it hits everything but here's the bed okay the bed not wow that is one floating thing can you tell i never use this tool our bed's not that bad besides from the fact that i cannot sleep and i literally feel like i am in a heaven hotel right now i wouldn't say it's that bad here we got to squeeze through to our bookshelf and do our laundry and then you know we have a cute little pool i don't think this house is that bad guys let me know your ratings in the comments of this one by one house i tried and you know considering the time i was given i took like 45 minutes so i can I could go into full detail. But I think I've done. Okay. Let me know what else you want me to renovate.